classical Christian education assumes a particular kind of cosmology. It assumes a, a cosmos that's filled with meaning, filled with purpose, and that's held together uh, coherently through Christ. Christ is the, the Logos, according to the John Prologue. In the beginning was the Logos, the Logos was with God, the Logos was God. And this whole Logos principle, uh, as we've talked about before, is, is this, this uh, divine linguistic order that holds the world together. Christians understand this Logos to be Christ. He is the one in whom all things cohere. And so when you're doing education, your education is a true education only to the extent that it is able to take the diversity, diversity of all the subjects that it learns and is able to see this coherence in them, this, this, this beautiful logocentric vision of, of Christ. This would be the discipline of theoria in the classical, you know, classical uh, scheme of uh, knowledge. What's going on today is we no longer believe that the world is filled with meaning and purpose anymore. It's largely because we don't think through theoria, we think through science. And you can't put meaning in a test tube, you see. Uh, meaning is impervious to the scientific method. And if it can't be scientifically proven, then it cannot be known, as it were. And so now th the world is just there. It's there to be studied. And then we have all these subjects that we've inherited from the liberal arts tradition, history, art, literature, music, science, mathematics. So what do we do with them? Well, we study them and we create specialties out of them. So we'll create mathematicians out of them and scientists and liberal arts people and business people and on and on. And so what you end up having, particularly in the universities today, is you have the creation of a multiversity. All the subjects begin to be fragmented. They move away from each other. They don't have necessarily have anything to do with each other. So if you go into the science department of a university, you're going to be told one thing, and then you go off to the liberal arts department, you're going to be told a completely different other thing about the nature of reality and so forth. It is only by seeing the world as having an inherent integrity. It has an inherent divinely infused meaning, purpose that's discernible, uh, by the rational mind that's revealed to us in Christ through word and sacrament and that's celebrated in worship where both creation and cathedral praise God together. It's only then that you have a true education that get, takes the totality, the diversity of things and puts them into a coherent whole.